and welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Take No Prisoners. Welcome to probably the last video of this Let's Play. In the last episode we fought and defeated the Master Guardian. And we got the um, Dome Breach device, which apparently disables the effect of the Matrix Crystal allowing its removal. And we learned that jumping into this cold liquid there is not a good idea. So we shall use uh, the thing which we stole from the Right Honorable Oral Isaac Devlin after we've killed them, namely his um, hover belt that hopefully will allow us not to get killed. Charge slowly drifting away there. Okay. Can't see. Maybe I should. Yes, and then... For some reason I took some damage there. Um, I mean, I lost some health. Which is, well, saying the same thing. Okay. Now let's see what happens if we don't use the dome breach device. If we do that, then... This happens. Yes. So don't do that, kids. Never remove a matrix crystal without the dome breach device. Fortunately, we do have um, a dome breach device. Where is my dome breach device? There it is. Here goes nothing. Okay, I still don't know why moving the Matrix Crystal should have killed us. Um, but... Okay, how do I get down? Uh, I need... Ah! Oops, okay. The reason I died there um, is because the... Um, The room is in fact, uh, I mean, the temperature gradient is so uh, the slow of it. It's so slow that uh, low that it even kills you when you're on top of that structure. Okay. Um, okay. Do I need to pick this up again? Maybe. Okay, I picked it up again. Just in case, uh, now use the, the hover belt again. Okay. But you have, actually have to make sure that it descends. Now we have to use the hover belt. And it kills us. Okay. Uh, yeah. No. Sorry. Nothing. Okay, now for the third time. Okay, maybe we won't end this let's play in this video if I keep messing up. Okay, but now I will be smart and will make a quick save uh, here. Now I will be patient. Wait until it has completely descended. But okay, this makes no sense. How does this kill me? How does the temperature gradient kill me if I don't have the hover belt activated, but does not kill me if I do have the hover belt activated? This makes no sense, okay. Because the temperature gradient is when the temperature is just a function of the hive, not function of whether I have equipped uh, the hover belt or not. Okay, let's leave. Okay, now we have the matrix crystal. Um, the only problem that remains is 
Okay, this is not a problem. Uh, they don't care about us. The only problem that remains is to get the back safely to Martech Industries. And the reason why I say problem is that is it is indeed a problem. Because when we um, as soon as we'll be back at Martech Industries, we will get attacked. Um, yeah, there's already one of one Martech employee trying to kill us. For a reason unknown to me. Okay, um Let's see if I can actually make use of any of these items. Okay, by the way, this is the Matrix Crystal. Let's read its description, maybe. It's, it will be the last time we will see this description. Effective Matrix Crystal, generative focus for creating the dome effect. Okay, let us try to use the gas, ma gas mask, gas mask, gas mask, the gas mask. And we use the gas grenades. Let's see if that works. Oh, it actually does not remember that you have equipped the gas grenade. Uh, It does not remember that, apparently. Okay, but this, at least this took care um, of these people. Now, um, now we get, need to get to, yeah. We need to get to, um, Matrix Crystal Housing here at Martin Industries, which is, if you remember, um, at the lowest, uh, at the lowest floor. Okay, which is not this floor. Okay, but this shall not concern us. And I got killed there. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do this again. Maybe with some sneaky circle strafing. Okay, maybe not with some sneaky circle strafing. Destroyed some plants there. Take that plant. Or shall not defeat me. Okay. Let's see whether we can, can actually ignore that. Okay, let's yeah. Let's just ignore them. Okay, this is um where the Matrix Crystal is housed. This, this should look rather familiar. That stuff's colder than my mother-in-law. Yes, it is. Okay, I don't know about your mother-in-law, but this is definitely some cold stuff. Okay. I can't, can't see. We have to deactivate this in order to get this. Okay, now I'm not getting hurt. Hmm, this does not make much sense. Yeah. Okay, um, let's just equip the dome breach device because maybe we do need it. Even though probably not. Okay, I, let's just make a quick save and. Okay, you do need. It. You do in fact need a dome breach device. So if you did not pick it up again, 
then you are sort of screwed. Okay, where's my mate with crystal? Oh, I already inserted it, okay. Ah. Uh. Yes. Okay, I don't need this device anymore. But I will pick it up anyway, because it's... It's my device. It's my dome break device. Okay, let's do this again. I still activated the hover belt, even though I don't know whether that um, it is actually necessary. Okay. Let's leave, and then we shall make the final decision. Got still some three minutes left. Okay. Okay, now we deactivate that. Yes. So there are two computers there. Each computer equating to a choice. Yes, danger, read link before continuing. You shall read the link. Seclock max. Warning, dome generator has not been tested for maximum power mode. Selecting this mode before initializing the, uh, selecting this mode before initializing the dome may cause an overload of the refractive matrix crystal. The effects of a crystal overload have yet to be determined. Speak to Dr. Townsend before selecting this mode. If you do remember, we got a note from Dr. Townsend earlier, which specifically addressed um, the effects of the matrix crystal and what happens if you overload it. Namely, we learned that um, the dome actually has, seems to provide unlimited um, so immortality. So if you would use the dome, yes, um, we knew that the dome had effect had stopped all harmful forces and energies from penetrating, but apparently it has even more significant effects. Any living organism inside the dome experiences no decay of tissue, which means that we will all effectively live forever. So the second note of Dr. Towns and was this. Apparently it is possible to expand the node, the dome, to cover a larger area, but this would also negate the immortality effect. Jensen suggested that the dome be expanded to cover the entire world by overloading the crystal in maximum power mode. While this might have some beneficial effects for others, it would destroy the crystal and all hope of immortality would be lost. I would recommend that Jensen be watched, as he obviously can't be trusted. So. Dr. Townsend did not want um, that we take. Um, obviously, did not want that Dr. Jensen would choose the route of not immortality. So now there's a moral dilemma. It's obvious which um, choice Slade would take, given the fact that he barely, he basically showed no. Um, empathy at all for other people in this let's play so he would go with this option but um, okay many of you probably will say that this is the rational option to take we don't know what happens if you overload the crystal it may it could destroy the whole world maybe or it could have no effect this option would at least provide some people to live and to live forever, in fact. But I think my it's up clear what option I would take, namely this option. Let's do this. Okay, it's now at maximum power mode. My timer sounded, but I don't care. I will not end this let's this video. Okay. And now we have to um Now we have to probably have to go um, back. Hmm. Okay, somehow this had no effect. Um, this was not okay. We need. I think we need to go to the office. Yes, this will, video will go over time, which means that I will be forced. 
I will be forced to make a cut.